There are some people that are hogging up everything, telling lies and giving alibis about the people's money and thing. <laughs> and if they gon' throw it away, might as well get something to me. Yeah, they said it. Oh, but they never had misery. There are some people who are starving to death. Never knew or only hate us. And they never had happiness. Oh, if you don't have enough to eat, how are you going to think of love? You don't have the time to care. The crime that you're guilty of, oh yeah. For God's sake, you got to give more power to the people. For God's sake, why don't you give more power to the people? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Let me shut up before they cut me off. I'd like to welcome each and every one of you to the mental house with me this morning. Your host, Khadija. You know, I told y'all before, this used to be a person that I really liked in terms of sports world. Now I am so disgusted with just the the very sight of him that, oh God, I'm so... Red Favre. I'm so disgusted now that I found out that this story gets even greater. It gets even greater. This is disgusting. Now I'm finding out that Brett Favre wanted to use slave labor to help build the facilities at his daughter's college. What in Sam's tarnation is really going on? And I know the people in Mississippi get it. I don't my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. You dirty, 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 dirty dog. You already, you already took the poorest people money. You already stole money that was earmarked for them. And as if that wasn't enough. As if that wasn't enough for you. You go on. And now you try to use slave labor. To help build. The lockers. In, in the facilities at your daughter's college. Brett Favre. You are the lowest of the low. You are a typical. Mississippi. Bad man, a redneck, a race bait. I mean, this. There's nothing else to say. You, you, you have a total disdain and a disrespect for poor people. Poor people. There's some white poor Mississippians as well, Brett. But you know, the majority of face of welfare is black in your state. Let me just go in here. In the wake of his alleged role in the Mississippi Welfare Fund scandal, Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre has begun seeing some major backlash online and in the national media. I don't think the national media is covering this story of much. Uh, I mean, enough. I don't want to hear no more about Ime Yudoka. Okay, sticking his uh, peen in somebody. I don't want to hear no more about that. I want to talk about things that really make uh, a difference in people's lives. And this right here should be the top of the list. The backlash is only expected to get even worse after reports stated that the Hall of Fame quarterback asked Philip Bryant 
in 2018 about using prisoners to help construct the locker at the indoor practice facility at the University of Southern Mississippi after funds had already gone to the volleyball center. Oh, my God, Brett. My God. Ugh. You. These are his words. Well, it would be helpful if someone would build them on their spare time. And then Pancho mentioned the prison industrial uh, complex as a, a builder. Brett wanted to use slave labor. Wow. Wow. Mississippi, in Mississippi, black people constitute, listen to this, 39% of the state residents, okay? But 57% of the people in jail and 62% of the people, black people, are in prison. I want you to hear me again. Black people constitute 39% of the state's residents, but 57% are in jail, put there by a white supremacist system in most cases, I mean in all cases, and 62% of the people are in prison. So you got 57% in jail, 62% in prison, and he wanted to get them out so they can build it but they only 39 percent of the population and i'm sure y'all believe the you know in order for white fragility to be nurtured you have to actually actually convince and make yourself believe It's enough. And they are slanting our thought processes or they're attempting to by keep talking about talking about Ime Yudoka, who I could. I mean, if Nia like it, I love it. I love it. I don't give a damn if it's the vice president's wife. I don't care if it's the vice president's sister. I don't give a damn if it's the vice president's mama. They don't got nothing to do with the price of sugar. But to have this rich man who's made over $100 million in his career, and probably more, way more, with endorsements and all that stuff, turn around and keep my people in Mississippi shackled Stealing their damn money. They go to apply for uh, grants. I mean assistance. Because they're the working poor. Don't you fool yourself. And bleed the hype. Like you want to believe that most black men. Run away from their children. I'm sick of these lies. And I'm sick of. The hypocrisy. You are nobody's hero, Brett Favre. In fact, you a freaking loser. What you do? You spent your money up? Huh? 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 You dirty. And Philip Bryant, I hope I hope y'all go to jail. Because you should be charged with something. And I hope any content creator that finds these stories appalling. This about him. Keep it on your platform. Keep don't let them whitewash this crap. Ugh. All right. Let me go because Brett Favre got on my last nerve. Okay, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video.